Sony, you got some tricks up your sleeve. Oh, we have our camera Yes, right. What's up? All right. started with this video you already know what to do man give the video that like bro we hit you with the flames every video man it's gonna be epic thumbs up like all right bro you thought sony spilled all the beans i mean all the beans don't get me wrong that playstation 5 event in my opinion one of the best events gaming events ever just the flow of the event, the games, the content, and to top it off with the hardware reveal. It was just perfect, bro. And so Xbox is going to have to bring it. I mean, bring it July 23rd. But it's now being reported that Sony still has more surprises to come. This is coming from a very, when I say very, that means this This is pretty much 100% going to happen. <coughs> Tom Phillips from Eurogamer. The dudes from Eurogamer, they're industry insiders. They, they know stuff. They have connections. They were the ones who correctly leaked the Joy-Cons for the Switch, that it's going to be a hybrid, the specs, the details, everything. They, they, been, they have a great track record, all right? I mean, of course, with everyone... Sometimes things don't pan out. Developers change things behind the scenes. But this is a very reliable source. You always still have to take everything with a grain of salt. But he has tweeted out that Sony has smartly held some stuff back. That they still have more. Also, first party and third party big announcements coming this get this event spider-man gran turismo ratchet and clank um, um demon souls horizon 4 kena the, this was a dope presentation man i'm sold on the playstation 5 no matter what xbox shows i'm still getting the playstation 5 the question is convince me to <coughs> upgrade for my xbox one right now microsoft but According to Eurogamer, Tom Phillips, these are the Digital Foundry dudes. He's saying that there are more surprises to come with the PlayStation. Now, here is Obi-Wan's crazy conspiracy theory on what's about to happen with the surprises. All right, of course, we're going to get more games. I think that's a given. I'm still holding out and thinking that touchpad on the Dual Shock. The dual sense is gonna flip up somehow and reveal a screen underneath. <laughs> That's just my my theory, my my wishful last thinking. Because and I've said my ration, look how it looks like it could flip up, bro. Um <coughs> or <laughs> that's just something that could press down <laughs> like the touchpad. One reason is on this official trailer, they don't say anything about a touchpad. Notice they don't say anything about a touchpad. I mean they probably have said it before in some, somewhere else, but when you're uh, highlighting your controller and a touchpad, the one of the biggest things in the middle is right there and you don't say anything about it. They talked about the haptic feedback, everything else, but no touchpad. That makes it a flip up touch screen, right? But either way, even if that's just another touchpad, whatever, um, surprises are coming to the PlayStation 5. So get hyped, get hyped turn up turn up turn up but we have some great nintendo switch news the goat of platformers one of the goats come on now we all know super mario world on the super nintendo is the goat of platformers 
old school platformers. <laughs> old school platformers. <laughs> you got some heavy hitters this gen. But, bro. Donkey Kong Country is one of the free games coming to Nintendo Switch Online. Dope, dope, dope game. The other two games, eh, some ice, I, isometric dungeon crawler RPG type game. Um, what is it? What is it called? What is it called? All right, we got Donkey Kong Country. That is the gem for this month. This is the, this is the game, bro. I love this game from beginning to end. Everything about that game is W is uh, a W. M N C W Championship Wrestling is the second game. This looks cool, bro. The 60 bit wrestlers were some of the best. The, on the Nintendo 64, that was the pinnacle of wrestling for me. Um, for wrestling game, we're gonna talk about a, a new school wrestling game in a second. And we're getting one. Uh, this is from Electronic Arts, the Immortal. Electronic Arts, EA made NES games, bro. History, get the video game history, to knowledge. So. We got some cool games, and Donkey Kong Country is definitely the gem. And Nintendo reveal did a pretty cool um, tips video. I didn't even know this. Check this out <coughs> on how to get like infinite extra lives in the game. Watch what this dude does. He lets that boss come over, <coughs> and then check this out. He just slides. Booyah! Extra lives galore. I didn't know this was a thing, bro. So they did a separate video on how to get extra lives and, and different codes you could put in at the menu screen, which I thought was pretty cool. Speaking of wrestling, um, WWE 2K Battlegrounds, an all-new trailer has dropped, and I have to keep it a buck, bro. I'm more hyped for this game. Then the more simulation type wrestling game that's been postponed for two for 21 probably coming out next year i think they're just probably going to focus on next gen but this game looks lit bro over the top uh, i think this is more up uh, this is what wrestling because wrestling is fake anyway so might as well if it's going to be fake <laughs> go all out right new day <laughs> and so wwe 2k a new trailer has dropped we got the release date, pre-order information. The game comes out September 18th. Here's my dilemma with this game, bro. 2K21 comes out September 4th. Ain't no other games gonna be in rotation that month. And then again, next gen with the PS5 launch? Bro, we're gonna be on that 2K21 heavy, bro. We're gonna try to go for legend this year, bro. So, WWE 2K Battlegrounds. The game looks dope, dope, dope. And the last news item for this video, uh, it's being reported that Microsoft is telling, and this is great for consumers, Microsoft is telling developers that next-gen game upgrades should be free. Xbox is um, highlighting that moniker optimized for Series X to where if you buy a current gen game and there's an uh, uh, there's a uh, option to have higher resolution higher frame rates to optimize it for the Xbox Series X they're telling developers not to charge us bro to give us the upgrades for free because I remember when the PlayStation 4 launched I had a PS4 at launch and the last of us you had to spend 60 more dollars for the upgrade. There was a lot of PlayStation 3 games that got an um, HD upgrade and you had to buy, rebuy, spend the full $60 to get the um, PS4 version. Not so this generation. Good news for developers. If they do that for Xbox, it's sure to follow suit for Sony. All right, dudes. What do you guys think of everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out. Bye-bye.
you still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. There's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, Check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.